Without leads, you have no sales. And without sales, you have no business. Understanding how potential customers find your business allows your marketing team to zero in on specific channels that will generate more leads for you. More leads equals more sales equals a scalable business. So why do so many businesses go through the process of setting up Google Analytics and never enable lead tracking? Most of them don't know how to configure it, or worse, they don't know that it exists. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do this for your analytics account. Let's jump in. The purpose of today's video is to show you how to set up lead tracking for your website through Google Analytics. In particular, we're focusing on service-based companies who rely on contact forms and calls to drive leads. Note, if your business is primarily e-commerce based, platforms such as Shopify, BigCommerce, or Magento already have built-in tools to track online sales, product performance, abandoned carts, and more. Use this guide to help you set up alternate lead conversions such as newsletter signups, wholesale inquiries, or phone calls. To get started, log into your Google Analytics account or sign up for one if you don't already have it. Note, if your website is on WordPress, we recommend the Google Universal Analytics plugin as it will allow you to track events such as someone clicking on a phone number or an email link. These can be configured as goals as well, which we'll discuss later on. Once logged in, navigate to the channels section under acquisition and all traffic. If you already have goal completions for the leads set up, they'll show up here under the conversions section. Your leads will be broken out by each channel. As you can see, we have a pretty even spread across multiple different channels. If you're not seeing goal completions, we need to get them set up. Think about the most common ways potential customers currently get in touch. Do you already have contact forms on your website? What about a phone number? Once you've established the top two or three ways potential customers get in touch with you, we need to configure the goals. For contact forms, the best way to measure a lead is by tracking the confirmation URL, or the page they're taken to after they complete a form. If the contact forms on your website don't take users to a confirmation URL, they'll want to adjust the configuration and create a page that we can track. We use HubSpot CRM to track all our sales and marketing leads. Here in the editor, you can see that we've created a confirmation URL on the website that a user is taken to after completing a form. If you haven't already, go ahead and set up a form completion URL on your site and make sure users are taken to it after they submit. With my confirmation page in place, I now need to configure the goal in Analytics. In Analytics, navigate to the Admin section and click on the Goals tab under your view settings. Then select New Goal. We're going to skip the Template option and move to Custom. And then we're going to name the goal, which we could just call contact form completion. And the type is destination. From there, we're going to just set it to equal the confirmation URL that we've already created. If you've already been running with a thank you page, you can also verify the goal to see what the conversion rate would be. If not, it will probably show like this and show a 0% conversion rate. Then click save. Now that the goal is in place, we can do a simple test to validate. Navigate to the real-time section and click on conversions. In a separate tab, go ahead and fill out a test form on your website. Once directed to the confirmation URL, click back to analytics and wait 15 to 30 seconds. You should see the conversion show up. If that's the case, you're all set with this goal. Moving forward, you'll be able to track all contact form completions by channel, device, geography, and a ton of other dimensions. Call tracking is a little bit trickier. Before we can set up the goal, we need to configure the call action to record an event in Analytics. For purposes of this video, we're going to assume you've already have event tracking set up, either through a third-party application like CallRail, or through an Analytics plugin like Google Universal Analytics for WordPress mentioned earlier. If you're struggling to get the event set up, I would recommend having your marketing firm or an analytics specialist configure this for you. 
We use CallRail to track inbound calls from our website. This tool works by replacing our standard main phone number listed on the website with a trackable number by source. We've configured CallRail to track events and analytics through their simple integration tool. They've already got a great library of video walkthroughs on this, which I'll link to in the description below. Once CallRail or a similar call tracking software is in place, setting up goals becomes a lot easier. Navigate back to the admin section and click on goals again. Then click on new goal. We're going to follow the same process by selecting custom and adding phone call as our conversion. Instead of selecting destination, we're going to select event and click continue. Now the event information is going to be a little bit different depending on the tracking software that you're using, but CallRail provides us with an event category of phone. Now we can click to verify this goal as well. And because we've had the call tracking set up for a while, we can see it would have a 1.9% conversion rate. Then click save. And you can follow the same process to test inbound phone calls under the real-time conversions tab. Now that we've walked through how to set up goals for leads and analytics, what contact points are you going to measure? Let us know in the comments down below and subscribe for future data-driven content.